fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Is That Your Hair Holiday. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Really nice to have you. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up? Welcome back. During this holiday series, I'm focusing on super cute wigs for the holiday season, and I'm also collabing with a few people to showcase these wigs. Today, I'm collabing with Barbara Udenze. Barbara, I really, really was taken by her channel because one, the quality is on point, and two, I just love like when she does these natural hairstyles, it looks so good on her. Definitely take a look at her video. I will leave everything in her description box down below. Barbara, thank you so much for collaborating with me. I really admire your work. You just look bomb every time I see you. <laughs> Whether it be natural hair or wigs, you're doing it. Today I wanted us to focus on like natural hairstyle of our choosing. When you go to Barbara's video, you will see what she chose. But right now I decided to focus on braids. This is actually my first braided wig ever. I've been wanting to try a braided wig for a very long time, since like the beginning of this year. And I finally got around to it. This wig was sent to me by Finest Hair Braiding. They actually contacted me originally via Instagram some months ago and we started emailing and we finally kind of agreed on a unit. It just so happened that this was the season for it to come out. I, you know, I saw a lot of videos on other companies with braided wigs and I was like, oh, I can't wait to get my hands on one. So I finally, finally did. So blessing, thank you so much for sending me this unit. So I was sent a unit from Finest Braided Wigs. It has a 13 by 6 frontal, medium size braided wig, and it comes with a nice elastic band that will definitely help to hold the unit down. This unit also comes with a mesh cap and as you can see here the braids in the back are actually crocheted onto the mesh cap. Now when you go onto the Finest Braided Wigs website you can click on their medium box braid link which will give you all the information you need as far as purchasing the wig. I was sent the frontal, but I really wish I was sent the full lace option, which I think would look a lot more natural in the back. And of course, on this side, you can choose your lace type, wig cap type, wig length, etc. So this is what the unit looks like when I first put her on. And I'm just adjusting it to see how it fits on my head, which it fits really well. It actually fits my head perfectly. I have the medium cap size. It does come with baby hairs. And it's very full. I actually cut some of the baby hairs off before I filmed this part of the video. Now here you'll see that I'm just trying to cut the lace very close to my hairline. I've seen a lot of people use the razor, which I do have. I just didn't have it on hand at the time. And now I'm just plucking out the baby hairs because it was way too much. And I was trying to make it sparse like how I wanted it. So in the midst of me like plucking baby hairs, I just wanted to stop and show you guys the lace. I haven't applied anything to the lace yet. From this angle, it's looking pretty good. If I tilt my head up, I see like a little cast. This lace seems pretty thin, so I think once I apply the Gatsby glue and my foundation, it's gonna start melting really well. So I'm about to do that next. So here I'm applying my Gatsby glue free spray and I'm drying it with my blow dryer and it was drying very quickly but most of all I was just checking to see how the lace was looking during this process and I noticed I was still getting the white cast and I was trying to cut away at it and so forth. I also noticed that um, it looked a little humpy around the hairline, around the parting space I mean. So I used my blow dryer to try to flatten it down and it looked a little bit better as I applied the powder but overall I don't think I was really feeling it in the middle so I just decided to quickly flip it over to the side and I was good to go so I would say the first pro of this wig is the braids themselves Blessing did a really nice job she did them very neatly there are no type of flyaway hairs at all on the unit whatsoever so I really appreciated that she did a very very neat job another pro to this unit is the density I don't like super full wigs, period. And so I was concerned that my braided wig would be a little bit too full. But this density is actually pretty nice. Like this is literally all the hair to the front. And I, I like that. I like that it's a lighter density. 
Let me give you a quick 360 of the unit. Another pro to this unit is the lace. Lace was really thin when I got it. Now, when I initially put it on my head, I was having a hard time, y'all. I don't know what it is. I, I feel like it's me. I powder I was using was like giving this reddish undertone that was clashing with my skin. So that was that was a no. So I kept having to mix powder, a little bit of foundation to get it to blend to the way I wanted it to. I feel like maybe if I had the correct powder, it would have blended easily. When I initially put it on, there was like a slight white cast. But once I got the powders together, the cast started to disappear. You'll notice it looks a little bit crusty right there because I don't know, I just feel like I put too much powder. Oh, I swear, working with this was a task. And I just kind of feel like it was partially my fault. I still feel like the lace is thin and would work with a variety of skin tones. Another big pro to this unit is that elastic band. That elastic band makes a difference in making sure that your unit adheres to your head. And also, people sometimes are interested in things that are glueless. I wouldn't walk around with a glueless braided wig. I think I would feel more comfortable if it's adhered. But maybe with the elastic band, you can try doing it glueless. Let me know if you ever do that. Now, as far as the cons to this unit, one con would be the length. I originally wanted a length that would drop down to like my tailbone. However, as you can see, this pretty much stops like right over here. Like, so I didn't get the length I wanted. I know that I, I always said when I do get braids, I want it to be super long. So the length was a con to me. And also another con is with this light density and that there's a mesh cap for half of the wig. I was just really worried about like that cap showing. I don't know if it was noticeable when I turned around in the 360, but I feel like that would give away that this is a wig easily if I'm like swinging my hair and the mesh cap is showing, you know what I mean? So I will have to check her website again to see if she offers like a full lace option, but I would definitely be way more interested in that because you know, people are rocking braided wigs now because they look super realistic. And this mesh cap in the back to me, if it shows, it's just a dead giveaway. Another con I would say was like the preset part. I did not like the way it looked in the middle and y'all know I'm a middle part girl, but something about it just looked really funky. So I just tried to switch it over to the side and I do like it a little bit better. She also provided some jewelry here, which was really sweet of her. So ideally, if I was about to go out, I would add some jewels onto the braids. This is what I would do too. If I was like just throwing this on, I would just tie this up, probably wear it like this. Kind of has like this crown effect going on. I feel like this wig makes me look so young though. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, this is the wig. This is my first braided wig. Please be kind to me. I I feel like on camera, it looks like it's blending in person. To me, it looks okay. I think I could have done a better job. I wish I was in daylight so I could show you like how it looks in the sun because that's where it counts, in my opinion. Another con for me for this wig was the baby hairs. Y'all know or probably have assumed by now that I'm not a baby hairs person. I'm just really not. I'll probably experiment with it in 2020, but as of now, ugh. This came with a lot of baby hairs, which I guess is good for customizing, but since I'm already like kind of ugh about baby hairs, I was just like, what is happening? <laughs> so I just ended up cutting them off because I really wanted to see how this would look with no baby hairs whatsoever. I really liked how when um, my girl Brittany, aka the Hearts and Cake 90, when she reviewed a braided wig, she tried the one with no baby hairs. It looks super natural. So I was inspired by that. I was like, oh, I want to try that too. I think I did an okay job. I left these baby hairs here um, in case I wanted to customize them later. But yes, let me know how you feel about this unit in the comments down below. Have you tried a braided wig? Would you purchase one? Let me know. I think they're like a super easy protective style. So I'm really glad that Blessing sent this to me because I'm going to try this out again. But overall, if you like natural hairstyles, definitely get a braided wig in your collection. The purchase links for this unit will be in the description box as far as the details on the style and the length and all that. All details will be in the description box. Let me know how you feel about this unit in the comment down below and whether you would purchase a braided wig. Hmm. What else could I do? A little bit. Oh, 
This is me just trying a little top knot. <laughs> oh my god, y'all. Okay, y'all. Overall, for my first braided wig, I think this is pretty solid. I really would prefer to not have this preset part in the middle but you know i know for next time also make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell because you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos for is that your hair holiday if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by if you came from barbara's channel also if you want to check out some of my past videos they'll be over here to the right of me thank you all so much for watching and for tuning in for is that your hair holiday i'll see you in the next one